Hey, I'm Bob Burton. Uh, I'm an elder at Wildwood. I uh, work there for finance, but I'm also here at the center. And my title is director, but that's not really what I do. I'm just a team lead with uh, Devin and Arch. The concept of the center really started way back in about 2006 or 2007. You know, Wildwood, we were growing and we were gonna build a bigger, better church. Uh, I remember the architect came in and we had plans. We had a church parlor, we had a church library, a church bookstore, a church this, a church that. We began to rethink uh, what we were doing. We were doing things for ourselves and not the community where, where God has placed us. So we said, why don't we kind of change our thinking and let's do something for the community, but it'll be such multi-purpose that um, that's where we'll do church. So the plans were one day Wildwood would be out here. We as believers are called to build bridges into the culture and into the community. See, God builds a bridge into my life. I'm called to build bridges of, of love and commitment to the lives of the people around me with honest and authentic relationships and truth telling. What was envisioned years ago was can we build a third place that invites unchurched people to come in so that we can collectively gather and have meaningful interactions. And so we're called for, to do three things, to be gospel-centered, to be relational-centered, and to be community-centered. Because Wildwood made a decision to say, we're going to put our money where our mouth is. And we're going to say, we want to become more outward-facing, more engaging. We want to serve more. We want to bless more. And in order to do that, we believe the best thing we can do is to not build a facility that is for us, but to build a facility that is for us. Not us, Wildwood us Tallahassee. When you start to, to think about building a new house, uh, one of the first things you start thinking about is what kind of house can I afford? Now, this is a little bit different than just looking at what costs are today. This is positioning us for the future, but it, yet at the same time, think of this right now, we're here, and during the, the week, we've got some things going on, but not like we have out at the community center. Our contribution of time, skills, and funds are an expression of this cheerful generosity. It's about investing in something bigger than ourselves, something that can serve countless people going beyond our local church body. We think of it as a community center, but you know the original design on this was this is going to be the preschool, and it's going to be the kids' building on Sundays. The next building, uh, the community center building, is actually the Wildwood Church building. At one time, we talked about having a gym that we worshiped in, but uh, the more discussions have gone on and the thoughts is, uh, no, let's, let's build a sanctuary, an auditorium that can actually do more. Yes, it'll be Wildwood's church on Sunday. There'll be a lot of things that we could do uh, in the new auditorium. Our vision is create community and enrich lives. We thought up front that might be hard to do, but since the inception, uh, I see that happening more and more every day. It's a lot of people that wouldn't have gotten to know one another uh, without the center here. Most of my life is centered around the church, Wildwood, and this is a place where I'm actually meeting people that they're not at Wildwood, probably don't even go to a church, and uh, of course I'm not shy about inviting them. And a lot of it is the community where they are this community, this community is growing. And so this is a, a, it's a place to be. So I think you'll see essentially from start to finish, the center is a worship place. I, I think this center was built to glorify God.